Well, g'day everyone. I just wanted to give a little demonstration on the correct way to pick up the bat. So what I want you to do is hold up your hands with me, your bottom hand in my case being my left hand, top hand being my right hand, and you'll notice the V's that form between your thumb and your forefinger on both hands. They should match the V's on the back of your bat down the splice. So what I want you to do is match those V's, put those V's down onto the grip, and then pick the bat up accordingly. Your predominantly top hand grip is tighter. The majority of cricket being a side on sport is done through your top hand, playing in those kind of arcs like that. The bottom hand is merely a guide, so it doesn't need a great deal of tension with these other three fingers. They become just stabilizers to your top hand. So a dominant check hit bottom hand grip looks very much like those two hands and you'll do a lot of batting, you'll get calluses on either sides of those hands. When it comes to the bat and the shape of the bat, I used to have nine grains going down my bat. So you can see here, this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen grains. This is one of Bubba Rizwan's bats, I, I think, well, Bubba or Rizwan, I'm not sure, Bubba I think it is. So. What that does is the heartwood for the left hander, the heartwood being the red wood, would always sit on the inside of my left hand because predominantly as I was a left hander, balls coming from a right hander would crash into the inside edges. The red wood means that the, the willow itself is actually harder on that side, so you still like that bit of protection. And then the way that the tree grows is that it grows in rings, growth rings like that. So they're just representing each one of those rings are representing annual growth in the timber. So I used to have quite a young bat, but not too young that the timber and the grains got too wide. Weight, as you can see in the distribution, is going up, the, up towards the splice of the bat. It's a little bit more uh, thickness through this bottom edge. And you'll also notice that these edges are very flat not much of a camber in the face of the cricket bat, they've got flat faces. And that's so you can put a lot more weight in the back end of the bat. Also, you look down the back towards the ridge of the bat, you'll have a concave type shape through the ridge of the bat. So they tend to take a little bit of weight out down through the ridge to give you that little bit of extra balance. Weight of my bats are about 2.9, I didn't like a big heavy bat. Lots of boys these days in the T20 formats in particular use quite heavy bats. But you want a bat that just picks up nicely. You don't want it to drag through the range of your, your back, back lift at all. It just wants not too much tension in your forearms and you can just pick it up nicely. And uh, balance of course is there. If you don't have a balanced back, you feel like you're not balanced as a cricketer as well. So there's a couple of tips for you.